Hi everyone and welcome to another magic video. My name is Nathan. I hope that you are all doing awesome. Gonna be playing some Esper Control today, but I have a special guest with me, Matthew Petroviak. Matthew recently did very well with Esper Control at a recent Grand Prix and I'm excited to be able to have him on and play some magic. How you doing, Matt? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, Nate. Of course, man. Uh, so, yeah, so you played in a GP. What GP was it? Uh, it was Grand Prix Charlotte about two weekends ago. And how many people were at the GP? Uh, I believe the number I saw online was 2,870. <laughs> That's a lot of opponents. <clears throat> um, how'd you do? I went 12-3, and three, which was good enough for 45th place. Uh, my tiebreakers kind of sucked, though, because uh, the 12-3 and three decks went from 16th all the way to 51st. I was near the bottom there. So really, it's kind of, you could, uh, for all intents and purposes, it's really kind of like a top 16 finish. Uh, I'd give a top 32. Top 32? Okay, okay. I was really happy with that. Yeah, no, I mean, especially with, you know, a deck that I would think some people would say is, well, I know some people don't think it's very good, and um, a lot of people right now saying control's dead and modern. Yeah, you do see that a lot, but I, I definitely disagree. And you do. There is the crowd that is talking about Grixis control that uh, Chapin got at ninth at the same GP. Mm -hmm. But this is definitely a more pure control deck. We aim to go longer in the game than any other deck in the format, except for maybe Tron. Yeah, I saw his list, and he's definitely probably more like an aggro control deck. He's got a lot of proactive spells. He wants to win. Well, we all want to win, don't we? Yeah, but I feel so. like Esper Control, like you said, is pure control, and I think it's a lot more focused on not losing than actively winning. I could definitely agree with that. Okay, so this deck is its beautiful, man. It has lots of card draw, and I don't know a blue mage that is going to be sad to see that. How does the... You know, we don't need to do a detailed deck tech on every single card, but I just want to get kind of your opinions overall on how does the deck function what does it do what are its key cards all right well and, and like you said there's a lot of card draw and so the goal of the deck is to basically bury your opponent uh in card advantage and so to do that you have to think twice esper charm and the sphinx's rev which mostly are there uh to draw you cards except esper charm also can discard cards from the opponent and you gain advantage that way Snapcaster Mage provides a lot of redundancy, and then we look to control the game with the counter spells like Cryptic Command, Logic Knot, and then removal like Path to Exile and the board wipes. And the bunch of one ofs you see there uh, actually create a lot of redundancy because like you can only run four paths, so the Condemn and the Dismember act like Path Five and Six. Very good. So you mentioned Think Twice. Now I've had various conversations with with people where they say, "Hey, you know." Think twice is a, is a terrible spell. Uh, it doesn't do anything. It's too slow. It's too dirtily. And, you know, I, I posted some videos a while back and somebody said, every time I saw Think Twice, I wished it was something different. But clearly you show that with, you know, three to four Think Twice in a list, the deck can do quite well. Why is Think Twice so important? Think Twice is really important for a number of reasons. Uh, most important is that even though it costs a lot of mana and it does take two turns, Think Twice does draw you two cards for the price of one, which is incredible when you're trying to make the game go long and see as many cards as possible and grind your opponent out. Uh, it's really nice that it costs two mana, can be played at instant speed, so you can like hold up counter spell and then if they don't do anything, just draw a card. Uh, and you're trying to hit your land drop, so that's really important. And also, uh, Liliana is a really popular card in the black decks, as is uh, Discard effects like Thoughtseize, so if you're looking to gain card advantage, your opponent will often want to get rid of your card draw, and Think Twice avoids that, uh, which is really nice, because of the flashback. Absolutely. In fact, I've even, you know, I've played this deck before, and if they were able to resolve a Liliana, it was nice to be able to discard a Think Twice, and they weren't really gaining any advantage over you. Um, yeah, I, everything you said uh, makes a lot of sense. So, why did you select Esper Control for the GP? I chose Esper Control, uh, honestly, because it's the one deck I own. I've been working on it for like a year now. But um, 
I, I really think it's one of the most underrated decks in modern. It has game versus all the top tier decks except for Tron maybe. Um, and it can just outgrind the black green decks. It can stop Splinter Twin pretty handedly. I just feel like it's really well positioned and like I said, underrated. <clears throat> So you mentioned a you mentioned a bad matchup there with Tron. Um, obviously, you know every deck. There's there's no deck that's going to beat every other deck. If you could say, you know, what are the two best matchups and two of the worst matchups? What would they be? I would say that the best matchups in modern would be Jund and Blue Red Twin. Well, maybe Affinity too, because. <laughs> uh, Junt, uh, and to a lesser extent, Junk, you know, they're looking to grind out one-for-ones, and because you have so much card draw, you're going to win that battle. Uh, and Twin, you have so much spot removal and counter spells, it's really hard for them to uh, resolve the combo against you. And, like, with the black-green decks, you're just going to outgrind them eventually, just bury them, because they're not trying to kill you on, like, turn two or mm-hmm. anything like that. Mm-hmm. And you, men- you mentioned Tron being a bad one. What else? Um, so Tron is bad because they are the one deck that you cannot beat late game because you don't have a clock, really, except for turn two Snapcaster beats. So they have no qualms about just getting to the late game and hard casting an Emrakul on you, which you really can't stop. Uh, and then they also have the obvious threat of the nut draw with turn three Karn or Worm Coil Engine if you don't have a path for it. Um, and then Burn is also a pretty rough matchup because, again, you don't really have a clock in game one, and they just draw pure gas versus you. Sure. So if you can't... Uh, <laughs> I'm done, really. So, yeah, so, and then your, obviously, cryptics are a little a little slow for that. Um, well, man, I'm excited to get started. Uh, we have a few minutes to wait, guys, before the event kicks off. We're actually going to be playing in a... Normally, we normally would be playing a daily event, but all of the daily events have been converted into, um, I think it's Festival of Modern Preliminary Tournaments, and the only long event right now available is actually Modern PTQ, so we'll run the deck through that. It's five rounds, <laughs> going to make a, a lot of videos for you guys to enjoy, so I would say sit tight, but in your world, we're just going to jump right over to it, so we're going to sit tight ourselves for a few seconds, and we'll see you in just a moment. Hi everyone, me and Matt are back after our brief break, and we are ready to jam some games of Modern. We're on, well we won the die roll, so we're definitely going to be on the play. Alright Matt, what are we doing here? Keeping. Keeping, alright, we're keeping. <laughs> Leading with yeah. Colonnade, right? Uh, yeah, and then we have multiple turn two plays, and Snapcaster and Esper Charm to get us value, so... That's about as well as we can hope for for a starting hand. Now, I guess depending upon what our opponent's playing, we may even could play a polluted... I don't know if we would, but we could play a polluted Delta to make Logic not li- live if we really wanted to counter something early, I guess. Yeah, that that's the idea. We're going to want to play the uh, Tar Pit on turn 3 or 4, probably, so we can have Logic not online uh, start interaction early. Now, being that he played a Vile, do you still want to do the Delta? Uh, I would okay. for the because uh, that, that gives us the most options like we have Logic Knot, we have Think Twice and we can even uh, fetch up a land tapped and spell snare to conserve life total if we really want to um, but that doesn't we're not really sure what deck he's on yet my guess is Hate Bears but we'll see like maybe it could be I'm guessing Hate Bears I haven't really seen people even play that deck in a while but can't say I've ever played against it, so with an experience. Yeah, this this has to be a Hate Bears version. It's got Horizon Canopy, Temple Gardens, Green White, Vile. It's just a really flashy Boggles deck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going to yeah, snare that, I guess. Yeah. No reason not to, right? And then fetch up a hollow fountain with the delta. But All right. That uh, arbiter definitely makes fetch lands dangerous to draw now because they he can vial in another one. Yeah, it's very true. Turn. I mean, we can attempt to play around them by um, <clears throat> K 
keeping up two mana so that if he does violate in, we are able to pay for it. Mm-hmm. Another land would be nice. Didn't hit it. So, yeah, tarp it, obviously. Yeah. And then ship it back. See what happens, but I'm hoping we get to think twice. I'm hoping he does nothing and we get to think twice into his turn. Yeah. And then the wrath is really nice, too. Oh, for sure. Because... Uh, we can let him build a couple dudes out and slam on turn four unless he's got Thalia. Or not four, but five. Right, I'm going to go ahead and think twice. Seems good. He did take up Vile to two. Right, another thing twice. Oh, something coming in. Thalia, perhaps. Scavenging news. Oh, that's a little annoying. Yeah, he's probably gonna eat our thing twice just just to be a mean guy. What a bad person. Why would you do that? It's just thing twice. <laughs> we don't even have creatures. <clears throat> that's not good. Uh, so go ahead and just ship the turn. Uh, or do you want to? Really wants to Esper Charm to draw to so we can hit that land drop. Okay. Um, whatever. I don't think he's going to do anything that we can't just wrath away. Eventually. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I don't think he can punish us for tapping out in any real meaningful way. So I'll go ahead and Esper Charm here. I'm going to make sure that I select a draw to. All right. Colonnade or any tap line would be great here. Get it out of the way. Boom. Perfect. The uh, negate seems like an awkward card to get in this matchup, but other than that, we're doing pretty good. Snapcaster won't be doing anything for a while, but. You know what three drops they play? Like Flicker Wisp and Blade Splicer. Okay. Flicker Wisp, Blade Splicer. I think those are the main ones, if not all of the ones. So he's got six in hand still? Mm hmm. Okay. Gotta go back to enlarging the screen. Land off the top. Just cryptic. cryptic. Um, and we, we really have nothing to gain by doing anything right now, because uh, we get the most options if we keep four mana up as opposed to trying to think twice and hit the land drop now. So ship the turn? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised to see a Blade Splicer come down here at our end step from this Aether Vial. Oh, it's Kitchen Fix. A little more annoying since it doesn't die straight away to the Wrath, but... Yeah. Not too bad. He is making logic not worse with that skills. Plan to do anything at uh, combat step? We're not in too much trouble for our life total yet, so I don't really see a need to tap with Cryptic. Um, I don't think he's going to play anything in the counter spells, though. Um, Probably not. So that makes a couple of our cards even worse, but. Maybe we should have think twice on our turn. Yeah, let him attack. Okay. <clears throat> uh, one thing we can do here is we can bounce the vial to set him back a bit, and he's not gonna. So he'll he'll get in our three drop in, but if it's non finks then we can just wrath away the board and get some value. So return and uh, draw. So, yeah, return draw. I always like to double check my. You can just get punished sometimes in Moto by accidentally clicking things, so I want to return draw a card. 
even if he tries to vile flicker with that, like that, that still essentially accomplishes what we want. So. Well, I mean, if he vials and gains some life, that's fine, and we just get more advantage off of our wrath. This really incentivizes him. He's he might even be like, oh man, I just gotta get this permit out there now. Yep, that's yeah. what he's gonna do. Oh man, we are getting the worst one ofs right now. Land. There we go. So play it tapped in wrath, right? Um, I would. Hmm. I would shock in and wrath, leaving up uh, colonnade. So if he tries to play a two drop out, we have an answer for it. Okay. Because. Uh, as it stands, like the two one thinks isn't much of a clock, but we're kind of lacking in answers right now. Uh, so if we can stop his next play, that would be the preferred thing. I feel like he's gonna path his. I know he floated a white, so it's kind of. Wondering why. Maybe, maybe he seems to be short on lands. I was thinking maybe he wants to path his own guy. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That's good on his part. I wish he had pathed his own kitchen things. <laughs> <laughs> we don't live in a fantasy world. Unfortunately, we don't. So he plays a three. Not a three drop. There's not much we can do about it. Um, however, we another land and we get a snap, wrath, which is really good. Vile resolves. And he's not doing a thing. Okay. Okay, we got a land. That's good. So I'm going to play this land and go. Yep. So now we can uh, even just animate Colonnade to start blocking. Because, uh, again, he's not putting much pressure on us yet. And uh, Path is just... Path... Like, if he paths it, that's fine, because we get a land back anyways. Um, okay. Not... I don't know if it's the best... Actually, yeah, do it. I want to see what he comes up with. Because we do have Snap Wrath if he just starts playing things out. And let's say he does path it. Are we going to get an island or a planes? Uh, planes, because everything else is a blue source, and it gives us the triple white if we draw a white sun. I'm surprised that he didn't just path outright. He let us block, which I guess is still pretty good. We didn't take any damage. Yeah, that was a mistake Mistake on his part. So what were we getting, a uh, blue or white? Planes. For eventual white suns, right? Yeah. We're not hurting for blue sources right now. We can even just kind of rinse and repeat and do this again. I don't know if, if we want to, oh, yeah, but... Our yeah, we got Yeah. So that wasn't terrible for us. He didn't push any damage, and... Yeah, that's weird. Oh. Here's, uh... Something. Okay, and this... This is probably going to demand a snap wrath, right? Yeah. <clears throat> um, Do we want to do any fetching or anything first? Um, I can't see why we did. I'm just curious. Yeah, if I, if he can't arbiter now, so fetch for an island, and then we can leave the uh, colonnade untapped again to give us both blue and white available. Yeah, I like so. that. All right, so I'll get an island here. Get this fetch out of the way while it's safe. Good thinking, sir. All right, so we're going to snap. Uh, not with that mana, though. Snap with these two islands, and then... Yep. Go ahead and wrath of God. Gods are angry. 
white, blue, blue, white. And He's definitely slow rolling pass. fairly well. Uh, he just missed out on two damage. A uh, Sphinxes would be amazing if we top deck that, because that would just put the game away, essentially. Well, now. White's on. He didn't play anything, so we're not going to be under any pressure. What? Never mind. He's doing something. It's end step. Uh, uh. That's interesting. I was expecting that. Uh, okay, so that'll happen. That's. I, I, I did not expect Vial and Collecting Company in the same die. No, neither did I. Caught me by surprise for sure. Definitely that dispel is probably going to be worth having. Oh, really gross. <laughs> He's gonna he's gonna flicker with splicer and get two golems. Yeah. Ugh. It's definitely not good. Come on, verdict or wrath. Yeah. The the lack of spot removal and then the two awkward. Well, I guess logic not too. Got kind of awkward with the goes. I'm not too worried about uh, game two and three here because we, we up the board wipes and then uh, God, that's just see. And this is one of the weaknesses of the deck that people definitely speak out as to why it's weak, uh, and we're just drawing the wrong half. So we're gonna pass here, right? Right now, um, I would play think twice, having the two islands, so we can. Well, do we no. pro do we want to leave up Colonnade as a blocker? We're 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 dead yep. if we do that because he's got or he has two golems, right? Oh yeah, no. Well, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. We will be because the the blade splicer is going to come back down at the end of our end step. So then yeah. he'll go through an upkeep and he'll have six, nine, ten power total, and we can only block three of it. Yeah. So I guess yeah, we have to think twice, I suppose. This is a lot more dire than I even thought it was. Yeah, it didn't seem so bad at first. Uh, just to land. Um. Huh. One, two, three. I think we just lose here. I mean, we can like, flashback like we... think twice and maybe yep. hope to hit a, a path. Or something like that. It's still not enough, though. Yeah, that's not enough. We're, we're dead. That's really unfortunate. Well, I'm going to flash it back. Just see what we get. Yeah. Man, um... In game two and three, with we'll have four board wipes, six pieces of spot removal, and the uh, enchantments, which neuter most of his guys. Well, if we had had another land in play, then I guess being able to fog a turn would, yeah. have, would have been reasonable. Uh, all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and concede. Mm -hmm. uh, and let's see, how are we going to board here? Uh, so remand is definitely bad. Uh, negate, I'm also not a fan of, uh, just because it can only hit his classic company, basically. Uh, we want to bring in the Wrath, the Knight of Souls, the Curse of Death's Hold. Um, then Dillian click might also not be bad cause what, uh, one nice way to use them is in response to the vial activation They, if you have 3 mana up and they activate vial you can then click and take the thing out of their hand that's a really nice interaction yeah okay so clicks definitely good because they'll, they'll essentially be removal and uh, yeah they'll and just hand disruption they'll just fly in and block I guess the only unfortunate thing is knight of souls and click is kind of yeah yeah that's true but, but if we have the knight of souls we're in a good spot anyways um typically so how are the I think spell snare seems okay especially on the play um what about do we want white sun zenith in this matchup uh white sun seems a little mm. To say. And then I don't know, like I don't know how good Cryptic is. 
you're kind of like because I, I don't if he's if he has vials and stuff I don't stuff I don't know if we're gonna end up how how useful the cryptics are gonna be but I mean I don't want to say too much because I could be wrong <laughs> so, so the thing is like if he if he has the vial spell snare becomes terrible and if he doesn't spell snare becomes great so the card that card is definitely really interesting uh, whether we want it or not um, I think we're definitely going for more of a tap out here um, cryptic we can probably go down to three uh, just because like it, it, it's never a bad card right it might be a little slow but like it bounces it counters it, it and it's nice to it's have, a fog uh, yeah it's fog that draws um so I think tap out approach is a little better here so I got 25 seconds I would, I would cut a snare I would cut two snares in the white sun and bring it to hat mm. no that's rough 59 cards we gotta put one Tassiger Tassiger yeah cause he's he'll win combat versus all of his dudes alright I'm gonna submit this All right, we'll play first. Hopefully, don't want to start out with the. Uh... That's a keeper. I would say we have cantrip and turn one remo or and a removal spell, so that seems pretty yeah. good. So just lead with the hollowed fountain. Yeah, and tapped. And watch them play turn one vile because that's what they do. Nope. Nope. Okay. Good news. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So do, do we do Catacomb, Catacomb or Island? Catacomb. Because even though we're not playing any two-man black cards, it, it represents more. This is true. And then it gives us a nice curve out there with Think Twice and uh, Esper Charm. Is that a top deck vial? No, an Arbiter. Do we care about that? Do we want to path it this turn? Do we just want to think twice? twice? Yeah. Hmm? We don't care too much about it. Because uh, we don't have any fetches right now. The one thing we'll want to be careful of is... Like, we can go ahead and think twice, but they do play Ghost Quarters. Okay. That's good to know. All right, cause so untap and play on. We could ghost um, quarter him, but I don't think we want to do that. <laughs> kind of funny though. He couldn't pay for his own. Does the castle stop protect anything besides Thalia? Uh, Thalia and Vermaz. Now I assume we're just gonna Esper Charm to draw at the end of his turn here. Um. Most likely here, yeah. Yeah, if he's not doing anything else. See that, then we'll go down to five, go up to seven, untap, draw eight, play a land, go down to seven. So should be fine. Draw two, right? Yes. Okay, black, blue, white. Still way too early in the game to start mine draw. Oh, yeah, yeah, it didn't really do much. Sweet. Uh, untap in. Oh, we already have one. Um, I would play the ghost quarter just... So uh, we're representing four mana, and we don't need the shock in just yet. Uh, and since we have two snaps and Sphinx's res, there's even merit to just flashing it in and trying to trade that way. Target Esper Charm. He floated a white and a green, which is yeah, kind of interesting. I'm so confused right now. That's such a weird... Huh. Do we care? I mean, I mean, obviously we care, but we do have Sphinx's revs. Um, we can logic not. What, what? Mm. The weird thing to me is why he floated a white and a green. I have no idea. 
Yeah, I don't I don't think he can play anything off of a an instant speed. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, god. Yeah, I think we So we would have to lodge now for three. Interestingly enough, the, well, one, two, we'd have to. I, I'm just so curious as to what he's doing. I, I would honestly just, because he, he only has two lands right now. I would I would just lodge not delving the Esper Charm and tapping out and just kind of seeing what he's doing. So can we, let's see, three. Well, we don't, we can leave up a white source, I think. No, because he has two, so we have to exile a card and tap out or exile two cards. No, so we do this and then tap Ghost Quarter, so X is one, and then if we delve... Oh, you don't want to delve, delve away the thing twice, is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, so is that what you want to do? And tap the fountain, too. Yeah, well, I mean, and, and delve away the Esper Charm? Yeah, yeah. Okay, X is three. Like, the, the 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 fact that he's boarding that in makes me feel good, cause that's one less like. I don't know. Like we had the counter to deal with it, but. I, I don't know. We got the double rev, and I'm fine with the one for one now. And he's not threatening to untap collector company. So. Now the one thing that that does do is it potentially like he could ghost quarter us now and we can't pay for it yeah but he he didn't play a land last turn so i don't yeah. unless he's really trying to next level us <laughs> yeah um, that's fine we go to 15 Okay, and here we can flood it. Oh, no, we can't. Dang it. Er. We could... I don't know if you want to pass that path, if that's what you're thinking, but flood a strain can't get a planes. Yeah. We 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 can flood it, uh, and then path, snap path, uh, pathing the pride mage on his turn. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to play flood a strain. Or yeah. All right, I'm gonna pass. We pass it. Um. Is then the only the only thing that's bad there is flicker wisp on the arbiter, but that's it doesn't not... have it doesn't have flash though. Um, oh, so that, okay, yeah. Then th this is, we we could have actually just if we had done it on our turn, we give him an extra land, but yeah, which I don't I don't like that. So you want to go ahead and just path now, correct? Uh, let him enter combat. Because if he swings with bold, he doesn't get the exalted, and then snap can trade with something on its own in addition to... All right, so here at combat, before he attacks with anything and gets any exalted triggers, I think we should... I, I, I would let him attack, because if he's only attacking with one thing, that's, that's fine. Oh, fair enough. Okay, I got you. So we're going to path Pride Mage. Path, and, path, path the Arbiter. Well, no, but if we if we path Pride Mage, then he has to pay. With He has to still pay if he wants to get a basic out of it. If we path Arbiter, he doesn't have to pay. Oh, that's like, he can't He can't search oh, either. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. I, I thought it was opponents, sorry. No, no, no. He, I, I clearly have so no now, against now if he wants to get a basic, he's going to have to pay for it, which then kind of slows, his, slows him down a little, obviously. That's really good thinking on your part. All right, so he paid. Now here's a question: Do we even care? Do we want to? Do we want to snap, and block Arbiter? Do we want to do any of that, or do we just want to flashback I, thing twice? I. Okay, we we can snap and then target the thing twice and flash it back that way, and then we have uh, Sphinx, two Sphinxes revs that we can start slamming out. 
Okay, so I'm gonna tap, I guess. Ghost Quarter and Island. Yeah. Snap. Okay. So we're. We, I guess a, a few of our. Uh, what's he doing? Tapping mana for. He's gonna. He, oh, he's he does, gonna tech edge something here, or he's considering it. So think twice, right? Yeah. All right. I was gonna say we're. I guess a few of our play. We we were kind of at time parity with him, but we've lost three minutes. I was worried he might path. See, yeah, because now we can't actually we can't fetch. Actually, that's. That was a mistake on. I, sh yeah. I should have noticed that because we can't, we can't pay for it, and we can't fetch, so this is annoying. Yeah, yeah. The, it's still it's still a one for one, so that that was entirely my fault. But or no, n yeah, it's... it is. So we're gonna take two. We can actually get or no, we can't search. We can't so search. Small. That's why that thing gets annoying. <laughs> yeah, I I just don't have experience playing with against this card. Um. We have to actually. We have to activate it. So you have to click on them to pay two to activate. So, we could just play a ghost quarter. Go ahead and pay for it and get this fetch out of the way. That way we can start to set up a rev. Yeah. Yeah. I I like that. All right, so I'm gonna click on him here. Pay two. Fetch, getting a. Do we want to get a what? Do we want to get a what? We took out the white sun, so I guess we can get a watery grave. Um. Or we we only have, we need another white source we as well. Need one black source, so. Well, but he's got a tech edge, so he could oh, technically wait, take no, us yeah, off yeah, of it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Watery grave is. God, sorry, I'm not usually this rusted. No, I mean it's fine. Uh, all right. So now I'm going to pass back. Yeah, yeah. And then we we still have another snap. I don't know if we want to use it or if we just want to... We actually could have also ghost cored his thing last turn. Gavinny's kind of annoying. I mean, I I, I thought about that because we can ghost quarter him and then he can't pay for his lands, but I feel like we don't really want to... I don't know if we want to kill our own lands just to do that. So he's he's going for the other white source, but... Um, I I would snap path in response. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and he might collect a company here. Definitely, it is definitely. Oh, I forgot I had that card. It is much different playing against this deck when he has collected company in the deck as opposed to not. Yeah, it's it's weird. That's for sure. <laughs> So assuming we don't really draw anything, uh, ho shock in the hollow fountain and hold up Sphinx's rev. Okay, shock. Yeah. yeah. Because he's not gonna burn us out. And we're not attacking, right? Correct. He does have a Gavany. Do we want to do anything about that? No. Uh, okay. Not a big deal yet. Actually, I'm honestly even fine with just. If yeah, you... yeah. I would, I would block, force him to do it, and then we could, we'll have double spaces right, so we'll be able to pull ahead here, like pretty much regardless of what happens. Because he's not going to be doing anything else with his turn now. Yeah, that's fine. All right.
Nine minutes. Got to try to play kind of fast because we're going to have to try to get the next game too. It's a little weird. Um... Not sure how good that is. Um... I would I would actually just... Uh, no, no. We, we hold on. We want to click him in his draw step. Okay. And just pass him back. Because uh, just to see what he's up to. And then... So we're going to do a blue here, a blue here, and then tap a ghost quarter? Yeah. This is upkeep, my bad. Mm. Draw stop. Up yeah, all right. Draws. Yeah, so now he's drawn. Because I just have not a clue what this guy's doing. About to cast Collected Company. Even Mind Sensor, okay. We don't just care getting, Just getting that out of his hand. That's fine. Just like, let him keep it all? Yeah, he's not doing anything with that hand. Um, so now we can block with the click, and he can't do anything else except play one of his guys. We can flash back to think twice here and then slam Curse of Death's Hold. That takes out two of the three creatures in his hand and the mind sensor. I like um, it. <clears throat> and then we still have Dismember up. We just trade. Um, so then we Curse of Death's Hold, we have Dismember for the Scoos, and then we can... After that, we play click and then start beating him down. Scooze resolves, flashback thing twice. Yeah. It, that's the best use of our mana. He's eating something. All right, no, he's not. Okay, there's, so there's nothing in our graveyard that we need, so it's fine if he eats things. <clears throat> worried about the time yeah i, I know <laughs> that's that was i didn't realize the clock was like split evenly too yep all right so play the colonnade tap out except for the hollow fountain slam the curse um and actually just uh pay the four life and just tap out and pay the four life and dismember him now too because we know what two cards are in this hand and so he's in top deck mode now And this prevents him from eating enough things with the scoos for it to get bigger. And we have a rev. So I guess next turn we'll be playing a polluted delta, probably just getting an island and then setting up for a revelation at the end of his next turn. Um... We can, I no, uh, we play the delta, scoos in his draw step just to see what he's got, and then we start click and uh, colonnade, beating him down, and we're we're gonna win the race now. Uh, but he does it. He had a pri he drew a oh, grenade. Oh, he that. Yeah, that's 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 shitty, but it's fine. Actually, that's really good. Then that's a really good draw for him. All right, so Delta or Planes? Delta. Delta. I, I still, I still want to go for the V click. I just draw a step, correct? Yeah. Uh, we, want we do have a Cryptic up now, which is good. Nice. Scoots. Yeah, uh, those are both fine. We we cryptic command. If if he if he attacks, uh, we take this one, and then we just hold up cryptic here. 
Is this a counter draw or? Yeah, counter. Er. Yeah, yeah. These lands fine, just leaving up the delta. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna want to fetch a hollow fountain with that. And taps. Is he gonna bounce or click? Yeah. That's fine. Um. No, don't. We don't need it. Our hand is just fine where it is. Alright, I'm gonna go and crack this delta. Yeah. Uh, water grave, I guess? Uh, fountain. There's no other fountains. There are no other fountains. Oh, he killed it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. Mm. That time clock, man. Play the planes and pass. Uh, I would swing in. Okay. We want to get this clock going. If he blocks, who really cares? What are we going to do when he attacks? Kill one of them? Uh, oh, he just drew land play. Uh, we, we... We... Path 1 and Sphinx's row. Okay. That'll, that'll draw us another answer for the... We'll, we'll go to one. That'll draw us another answer for the other one, and we can start uh, beating down for 14. Or... Uh, 7 a turn. So we got a 3 turn clock right now. He does have a ghost quarter with for our colonnade. That's a fair point. Um, if he taps it, which he didn't, I was going to say, then we can... We just want things those are out of here. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I was gonna say if if he let's see. <laughs> oh, oh, we gotta condemn. Yeah. So I'm gonna play this colonnade, I guess. Yep. Yep. And then swing three. And we can actually start uh, Esper Charming his hand and his do you, uh, draw step now. Do you want to activate a colonnade, let him ghost quarter it so that we can then, he's forced to use it? How much mana do we have? Three, four, five, six, seven. Or eight, just attack. Eight. Actually, I'm just going to attack. Yeah. And then, I don't know. We're, we're, we're one mana short of condemning and activating the colonnade. Yeah. Esper Charming. Well, plus it, like... So we just either just draw a step now. You want to use it? Can. Yeah. All right. All right, so what, what we do is we let him attack. We animate the colonnade. We bait him into ghost cornering, and then we condemn yeah. his guy. And when he, when, he, when he ghost quarters it, we'll go ahead and... Use the mana from it to pay for the condemn. Yeah. Yep. Sweet plays. <laughs> I don't know that we'll be able to win the next game, but that's okay. We're. Yeah. We'll, we'll, uh, that sucks. We'll get it. We'll get in. We'll get in the swing of things, though. Yeah, the the fact that like you've got to get all these like triggers and clicking and stuff done, play the island animate, swing in. Yeah, well, the it's not that big of a deal. It's the talking and the talking to the match that definitely takes up yeah, the most time. And that too. 
So we but, just return again just because. Oh, you know what? I just, he drew a land anyway. It, it was a mute evolve, but I just, I hit F2 rushing. Uh, so what are we going to think twice here? And we'll flash it back. Yeah. Man. We have a ghost quarter for his mute vault. Yeah. Uh, let's go. And now, now we can uh, Esper charm his draw step and. Ghost corridor and whatever, and then just just so he doesn't get a flyer. I don't know why he's activating Mutavolt now. I think oh. he's just trying to burn our time. No, he's just trying. He wants to put a counter on it, but I'm just gonna blow it up. Yeah. Because you you lose like two seconds when you hit okay, right? <laughs> I'm trying to be pretty quick. I I'm, I'm using the the keyboard to try to be a little faster. Yeah, it, no, it's it's not anyone's fault. It's just like the way the thing's set up. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, gonna just in case for some awkward reason, I want this ghost quarter. I'm gonna tap this. Collected company. Count draw. Just finish up. Oh, we saved our Vendillion click, thank God. <laughs> All right, are we going to change anything after side or for game three? And do we want White Sun in place of? I mean, we we now we want we want to try to kill him more quickly, so maybe. Yeah. And then Dispel seems like it could be useful for Collected Company. I don't know if it's enough. If he if he has like four of them, the one Dispel might be okay. Curse yeah. of Death's Hold seemed pretty good. Yeah, it would have won the game right then and there if he didn't top deck the Pride Mage. I mean, I think this is fine. You want to go with this? Yeah. All right, I'm submitting. Oh, gosh, time, time, time. <laughs> I hope we can just wrath a couple times, get some lands in play, put, like, a few cats out there. I yeah. don't know. It's going to be difficult to win. Yeah. I have faith. It is Swiss, though, so. And, I mean, we obviously we want to win, but I think we're – I think that was a really good match to like show off as per control because it kind of was like we were, we were sort of, you know, it was actually perfect because we were kind of, we were getting knocked about the face a little bit and then it was like, okay, now we're going to start revving, really start pulling ahead, start activating colonnades, even with crypt, leave, even leaving cryptic up and all that stuff, doing, yeah. what, the, doing what the deck does. <clears throat> Four minutes, there's just no way. But we're gonna try. He's only got. Yeah, we'll try. We will try. Uh, yeah. It's got a removal spell. Keep. Just. I mean, we have to. Playing what land? Uh. Strand pass. All right, that's one last threat to deal with. <laughs> yeah, we definitely actually want to get the fetches out as early as possible because of. The uh, the arbiter. I, I just want to tell the viewers during the GP and the side event I did before that, uh, that was 19 rounds total between the two, and I did not go to time once. You're an amazing so, human being. <laughs> so that that's not a real concern of the deck usually. All right, so I think what we want to do, just digging off the cuff here, is probably just we probably want to delta and then just put a watery grave into play tap before he can. Yeah. Like potentially violin a Leon and Arbiter or anything like that. I agree. It's a good plan of action. And if we can draw a land, then we can actually wrath the board at some point.
Um, you know, you know okay, Thalia is not the worst. Hopefully, he doesn't play Leon and Arbiter and a Pride Mage. All right. Well, actually, Thalia is kind of annoying because it's going to make the the verdict a turn slower. Um, we have to make a quick decision if we want to condemn the Scoos or try to condemn we Thalia can't. next turn. Oh yeah, we can't. I just said that. All right. Uh, Hollow Fountain tapped. Oh, oh no no shock and end because we can path and condemn none. Well we know. Well we can path Thalia. Yeah we can path Thalia and then condemn the other one. Good good thinking. So Pathalia with two mana and then Which is a bigger threat, the Pride Mage or the I think she's gonna get flicker wisped. Uh oh. That's fine. No no no, because we're not gonna be able to even mind sensors in place, so we're not gonna be able to search. Oh, that's yeah. so gross. I'm gonna float a white. Oh, what? Do we... Oh, he has ghost quartering. Yeah, he's ghost quartering us. So we just have to hope there's a basic. Oh yeah, that's. Nope. That's brutal. Okay, I didn't even. <clears throat> he's gonna oh. do it. He's gonna do it again because we we failed to find. Uh... Nice. Outskilled. <laughs> We have no more hollow fountains, though. Get rid of the scoos because it's a little bigger. I don't know. Maybe we want to get rid of the Aven Mind Sensor. We can't. Oh, yeah. It's not attacking. Oh, that was brutal. Yeah, that was pretty gross. Then. He's got one card in hand, but... Well, we don't have double white for our wrath now. Yeah, it's gross. Mystic Gate would be a great draw. <laughs> <laughs> Top decks for days. Play this draw on Catacomb. Do we want to go? Do we? I guess we don't want to do anything. Just pass. If we pass. We pass. Um, if he swings with both, we snap just to block, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Ooh, the double ghost cord or even mind sensor play. That was just nasty. Oh, and his last card's a path. Planes off the top. <laughs> Not the worst. Down to seven. All right, Colonnade's good. Then we pass and hope for another uh, good top deck. Well, we're definitely gonna think twice. Hope it's a hope we think twice our way into a planes, I guess. Yeah. That was just a really uh, perfect storm. That. We yeah, it from. really was. Dismember would be a good draw here. Uh, I'm getting a weird pause. Why can't I want to cast the spell? Oh, because I guess I didn't click it. No! <laughs> it's another wide source, but it comes into play tapped. Oh, We're still is... alive. We rev, we rev for two. Okay. Unless he has a creature here that he's violating in. I didn't even add. I, didn't, I did not do the math. Yes, he does. Ugh. All right, that's uh, yeah, that's game. Brutal. Hey, we didn't lose on time. Nice. No, we didn't. In fact, <laughs> we almost like one more turn, and I like Wait, we, we would have. We still have think we can still think twice into a path, actually. Right? No. Yeah, we but can't. then we we could, but then we're still just yeah, dead. Yeah, we can't. We're dead. Yeah.
Oh, no, that still wouldn't have saved us. We we essentially got nut drawn there because he had Thalia for disruption, he had double ghost quarter mind sensor, and then he had a uh, removal for the snap when usually it's a dead card. So that was just kind of just kind of drawn. It happens. Wow, we're 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 actually not even the we're not even the last the last match or what did he say? He said something. Good luck, have fun. You too, sir. Uh, I hate how Moto does this. I will be back in 30 seconds. I'm going to mute my mic real quick. Sure. Sorry. No worries. All right, guys. Well, that was that was round one. Uh, pretty. Even though we didn't win, I, I, I feel pretty good about the match. I mean, um, it's, it's a shame we didn't win, but I, I think we could have pulled that one out there given another turn and like matt said it was just kind of the perfect storm of of crap against our deck so i'm sure there and i'm sure you guys will be able to go back through and do some detailed analysis and figure out like maybe where we could have held a mana up or something maybe not but uh anyway guys we will see you uh for the second round